Hey, this is Travis with Comics Limited. I just wanted to give you guys a, a new comic book day rundown of what I picked up at the shop this week. Normally I've done this in the past where I've just kind of shown the books, had some music, done all that fun stuff. Today I thought maybe I'd go ahead and do an actual communication about why I bought the comics that I got this week. Um, if you are in need of finding, looking up what's new coming out or what's going on, please check out um, I like com and go to their new comics page. In the new comics page, you can go ahead, you will find great opportunities to see that what new books are out. We have a graphical interface as well as just text uh, on the books that are coming out this week, as well as uh, the upcoming weeks, several of the preview books are available to be seen, even though not everything is available to be seen. Um, and we do update it weekly so that it changes every week, so definitely check it out. Also, um, if you're on there and you're looking for some books, please check out the shop and check out what you can find there. And if you have questions or you don't find what you're looking for, go to the communication page and send an email to the shop owner, Chris. He would love to hear from you and find out more about what you guys are seeing on the site. All right, let's get started on this whole progress process of what I'm trying to do here. And so looking at the, the, I, this week, my <laughs> Chris, the comic shop owner, uh, sorry about the dog in the background of here. Um, he sent me this book. I set it up on my shelf. This is from Pan Universal Galactic Worldwide. It's a reprint of the New Mutants 98, but it's the Pan Dimensional 3D edition. This is a the second time it was printed for it. It comes with 3D glasses, and it's the traditional 3D. You can kind of see it's all all messed up there on the screen. It, it looks funny in that sense, but it is a 3D comic and 3D cover, and it comes with 3D glasses. Pretty cool book. It was one of those kind of, hey, since I get uh, Marvel, um, uh, not reprints, but uh, facsimiles, he put it on my shelf, which I thought was really cool. Um, it's not traditionally, it didn't come out from Marvel Comics, came out from uh, Pan Universal Galactic Worldwide, but hey, that's pretty cool. This week, we had this reprint, uh, Venom number three. This is printed, it is so new that it has the same price that it originally came with, $3.99. And the only place on this book that shows that it's a facsimile is in the Indicia on the very back last page of the comic book. Otherwise, it is identical to the original printing. So it is hard to tell that this is not the original printing. So be careful out there. That could be handed off as a regular one. Let's say it gets graded and the grader notes miss that it's a, a, a facsimile. You could be buying a book that's not real. Speaking of second prints, this book was uh, kind of one of those buys where I just kind of had to get another copy because I sold my other copies. This is so cool. I love Patrick Gleason's work on this. It's kind of like this whole, I don't know, x-ray version of the Wolverine. I thought it was pretty cool. Now, these are the books that I am reading, but I'm a little bit behind on. I am an issue or two behind on X-Men. So here is... X-Men number six. X-Factor number three. By the way, out of all the new books, X-Factor X Factor tends to, it seems to be one of the best books. Beautiful Terry Dodson cover, uh, Dazzler number two. I'm not completely sold on this series, but it's still one of the series that I'm picking up until I can get sold. I think it's only a five issue run. Spider-Boy, one of my most loved books, but I'm a few weeks behind on it. And when I say a few weeks, I mean a few months. <laughs> Here's a book that I'm buying just because it's Philip Kennedy Johnson, and it the first issue was so amazing, yet I just, because of time, I was going to school full-time when it started coming out, so it wasn't a priority book for me to pick up, for me to read. However, every every week, these covers are fantastic. Incredible Hulk. I believe this is one of those best books that's out there that you should be reading. I'm going to go ahead and move some books and we'll put up the rest of what we're going to, what we got this week. All 
I'm still picking up Superman. I'm about halfway through the series, and so far Joshua Williams' take on Superman is fantastic. I love it. This cover is a really great cover too. It's kind of a has a different feel to it because it's kind of after all that, um, all the stuff going on with uh, the absolute stuff, absolute supremacy or absolute whatever it was, and so this is kind of the all-in first issue afterwards. Um, not the uh, absolute Superman issue, but this is just regular Superman storyline. Here is a book that I am super excited to be reading. Issue one came out, and I haven't had a chance to pop into it, but it looks fantastic. Uh, Daniel Warren Johnson, The Moon is Following Us. This issue two just came out. Issue one came out a few weeks ago, so I think they're coming out every other week or something like that. It just looks fantastic. I can't wait to finish reading it, and I recommend it to anybody. Um, and it looks tragic and powerful, just like his Transformers run. I, this was a book that I saw, and I put on my comic book shelf last week. It came out last week, but if it, it's, you know, Mark Wade and Chris Sammy. And Chris Sammy's work is just so good. I just, here, here's what I got. Batman and Robin, year one. I'm looking forward to reading this book. I'm looking forward to the following issues that are coming out. Now, these are the books. These would be the top books this week that I definitely am going to read, that they will be read before next week's comic books come out. First one is Conan the Barbarian, issue number 16. This has been an incredibly good story. Uh, the tie to the Elder Gods and all this stuff, dealing with Conan in such a different way, and it kind of takes us back in an older story of Conan and brings us forward. And it's also coinciding with the same time that's going on with the story of the of the Black uh, the Black Rock. So I'm looking forward to picking reading this book and seeing where it goes. Another book that kind of surprised me. But I decided to pick it up, issue one, because I picked up the free comic book day version and thought, oh, wow, this is great, um, was Johnny Quest. Now, it shouldn't surprise me. Joe Casey is a fantastic writer. I love Joe Casey's work. His work back on Wildcats, when Internet was young and we would chat on news groups talking about the work, um, I remember he got so much garbage about his Wildcats run. But I'm telling you, man, that run was really brilliant. He did a great job coming out of it, coming out of, uh, you know, other writers who had picked up the book. You know, we had right before him was Scott Lobdell, and Scott had just come off of his X-Men run and was getting away from the Marvel stuff and doing something new and different. And Lobdell's story was good with Cheris art. It was, it was fun. It was interesting. But Joe Casey really brought the Wildcats back into a really interesting storyline. He ended up doing two more series of Wildcats before the before they got bought out by um, DC and then other writers came in and did the other stuff that with with went with it that I'm still haven't really ever read through but I'll tell you up to volume three with Joe Casey's work was fantastic now the most exciting book that I picked up this week and now mind you I love I'm, I'm loving everything that has to do with the Energon universe um, if you know what my comic goals this year have been, it's been to buy um, G.I. Joe. Uh, so I've been following the G.I. Joe, main G.I. Joe storyline, and actually reading the more recent issues. Um, and I've been picking up the older G.I. Joe issues, and I'm going to go ahead and start reading them all the way from issue one. Um, however, so this is what started it all. Void Rivals by Robert Kirkman. This book is incredible. I, the, the story in this has been, it's been a build storyline. You know, it's very much, it actually is a lot like how he built Walking Dead and how it was kind of a build-out storyline. I love that stuff. It was fantastic, totally enjoyable. Well, thank you for watching. It's been a great time sharing my comic book haul with you. So you guys have a fantastic day. And as Big D McFly always says, share your love of comics with everyone you meet because you never know where that world will take you. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye-bye.